there we go. Good, yeah, good evening, folks. Uh, Fred will be joining us uh, shortly, but meanwhile, uh, it's just you and me, Roger. Um, have you had a chance um, to see any of the, the new uh, promotions or specials? Uh, well, to tell you the truth, uh, the last week, although I didn't have many kids to deal with, I was downright busy, busy, busy. Yeah, this one just came out um, today. We had uh, six, the new members who sign up with Lifestyle Rewards get free shipping on orders of $150 US or 165 Canadian, plus 10% off their orders. Um, oh of uh, if it's US 250 or Canadian 275. And that's through this week, right. June, June 27th. So right. that's a way oh. to start off the, the week. Uh, and they get, they get bonuses, the 10% the and uh, as long as they do lifestyle rewards and, uh, and, and free shipping, which the shipping prices just went up really small. They mm -hmm. haven't adjusted them in, in many years. And so yeah. that just um, went up. And so that's e even a better uh, value. Right. Yeah. It, it doesn't take long when, you know, there's 10% here and a bit there and a bit there and something somewhere else. And it, uh, it becomes quite uh, attractive. Well, and even if it just covers the, the shipping, <laughs> you, know, yeah. you still feel like you got something. Oh yeah, no, yeah. that's for sure. So. That is for sure. No, it's, uh, um, we have uh, heading, out, heading out of town tomorrow. We're going camping for three days. So oh, nice. it will be time to relax and um, kind of figure out where I'm at and uh, do, do you uh, do you tent camp or do you um, use an RV or how do you? No, we we've got a well, it's probably about a, a thirty foot fifth wheel. That, okay. You know, if you look at it, you wouldn't say it's actually camping, but it's more glamping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a nice uh, nice rig. We've had it for about fifteen years, and nice. So it, uh, you know, we really do enjoy getting out. We're not going very far at this point, but. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know what's going on with gas prices in Canada, but uh, they're soaring uh, here in the United States. Yeah, it hasn't been good the last 15 days. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Ernest. Hello, Kate. Welcome. How are you? We're doing great. Good, good. We just got a, a note from Fred. He's um, running a few minutes late, and uh, we were just talking about the um, the new promotion. Speaking of Fred, here he is. So I'm gonna let him into our meeting and there he comes. Hello, Fred, looking good. Greetings, greetings, how are you? Good, we're just getting started. We uh, were um, talking about the, the promotion for this week that uh, new members that sign up with the Lifestyle Rewards, get free shipping on orders of 150 for US or 165 Canadian. And then they also get 10% off if that order is 250 uh, US or 275 Canadian this week. Well, so I'm glad you mentioned that. I was actually trying to boot my phone back up so I could check the email. Um, it's supposed to be a continuation from last week. Right, and that's what it looks like. Uh, however, I thought last week it was all members. Might have been. It. I, I was just reading this. Um, I didn't get the email yet, or I didn't. Maybe I didn't, didn't browse through correctly. I was just. I got this off of Pat's site. Uh, you share there. They share. That's what she she posted. So it's it's. Uh, it looks like she got it from the app. I could have taken that step step one one step further and gone to the ISA uh, Life app. Okay, I pulled up the email. Summer is the perfect time to help you just do that. Until June, okay. Uh, we've extended our hot summer promo for new members by an extra week. So I do believe it was previously all members, but now it's extended to new members, which, you know, kind of That's makes okay. sense. They're trying to, to, to help people, you know, double down on their efforts for this uh, this calendar month or uh, commission month 
for the uh, LIA 20 group. That's 10% off the orders 250. All right, so just new members, not existing members. Right. Very good. Ernest, good to see you. Yes, sir. Good to see you, Fred. How are you? I'm well. How you been feeling? I've been feeling good. Thank Excellent. you. Excellent. All right, very good. Roger, good to see you, sir. Thank you kindly. Likewise. What's your t-shirt say? Oh, Grand Fondo. It's backwards, isn't it? Or is no, it? actually, we see oh. it. We see it correct. Oh, okay, good enough. Um, it's something that uh, my Rotary Club here in town put on um, every oh, first of September. They have three uh, supposedly and for the most part fun bike races. You know, probably fifteen miles, thirty miles, and seventy-five miles. And uh, me and you have I, a real different idea of what qualifies as fun. <laughs> yeah, well, you get you get lots of uh, you know cycling teams, and but at the same time, lots of kids. So it, uh, but like, being, like I said, <laughs> well, are you a Rotarian, uh, a, yeah. A, Roger? Yeah. Well, then that's another uh, whole group of uh, circle of influence that you that's can exactly tap exactly what I was thinking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh, I'm trying to think here. Was it the Rotary Club? Uh, I don't think they drink as much as the Elks Club. It's the Elks Club. <laughs> Elks are the drinkers. <laughs> My stepdad's an Elks <laughs> member. <laughs> All right. Now, Robin, we're going to double down on last week. Look at yourself. Can you see yourself? Yes. Okay. Pull the screen down just a little bit. Pull the camera towards you or pull it down. There you go. That's scary. <laughs> no, it looks good. <laughs> okay, and, and see, I just go, I, I would even go just a touch more because it's all about posture. Right? So go ahead and pull it up just a little bit more so that your your face really fills the screen. Now, see, I like that right there. If okay. you were to take your screen and divide it into three parts, one, top third, two thirds, one third. You want your eyes to be in that top third. Okay. Okay. And I'm actually probably in the top 25% of the screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I'm also got more of me showing. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit wider angle camera than, than, the, than the average person has. And, and again, it's about posture. Okay. Okay. Because when, when you're talking to somebody, here's one of the fundamental things that I learned really, really quick in multi-level. You know, my, when I first started, I was like the le least likely candidate for success. Even a year into the deal, my sponsor in the very first company told me he never thought I was going to make it. Okay. And, um, but, you know, if you'd seen my old Chevy pickup, if you saw my idea of dress clothes, I mean, even at that point in my life, my dress clothes were the jackets, you know, and me and a couple of cousins swapped off for funerals and weddings. Right. And um, but the thing that I learned, what I did learn from him very, very quickly was this concept of posture in the land of the blind. The one eyed man is king. OK, you got to remember you're in the land of the blind, okay? You don't have to be a million dollar earner. I'm not saying fake it till you make it. I'm not saying lying about what you're doing, but it is, uh, you know, uh, Ernest understands this, this concept of presumptive close, okay? If you presume that you're the uh, informed, successful, knowledgeable network marketer that is here to guide the novice, the new person, and that's your role, and you portray that power position, then they will follow you, okay? Nobody, nobody's gonna follow this guy. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> okay. Right? Yeah. It's like, yeah. you know, this is a great opportunity. You can make a lot of money, okay? This is an incredible opportunity, a way to create financial success beyond your wildest imagination. Big hands, big face, big body. Big okay. hat. Okay. And, and what? Big hat. Well, 
<laughs> so I, I wasn't saying you needed to hide your hair. I was just, it's, it's part of the, the persona and it, and it works. Mm -hmm. it, it was, uh, I, I, you know, I try to be sensitive to my buddy that owns the gym. And if it's, if it's under 85 degrees, actually uh, uh, 80s, the, the, the line, and it was like 81 or something when I showed up at the gym. So I opened up all the doors and windows, save on the air conditioner. And it was kind of warm. And, uh, you know, so I did a quick wash up, got my hair wet, was soaking wet, got in the car, had the windows down for a while till the AC, you know, blew everything out. And so, yeah, it was a little wild when I walked in the door. <laughs> all right. So uh, it, now um, uh, back on that track. All right. How you carry yourself in the conversation, how you perceive yourself, all this is critically important. If you understand what our job is, is, is to instill the confidence in our prospects, the right prospects, that they can do this. OK, people want what we've got. OK, they want a way they want a way to control their life. It's not about money. All right. Stop that for one second. They think it's about money. Everybody thinks they need to make more money. But I've never seen anybody making 50 grand a year who thought, man, life would be perfect if I hit 100 grand a year. They hit 100 grand a year. You know what they need? Two. 200 grand a year. Mm -hmm. Because life always expands. At 50 grand a year, you need more money so you can afford to grab you, mama, and two kids and throw them on the airplane and go see the grandbabies. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you hit a hundred grand a year, you need more money so you can throw the whole family in first class because it costs a whole lot more. Now, all of a sudden you went from, you know, budgeting, you know, a thousand bucks, 1500 bucks. Now you got to budget three or four grand. Okay. Life always expands. What people are looking for is freedom. They want to feel like they have control. They want to have not so much luxury, but the absence of, 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 a, of a focus on money, okay? That people want to have that experience of putting down the credit card and not worrying about what the tab is going to be and knowing full well when the bill comes in, they're simply going to write the check. Okay? I mean, how many truly successful people do you think are actually carrying interest on their credit cards? Think about this. When I say successful, okay, people at 50 grand a year income raising a family, they can be successful if they know how to manage their money and they don't carry credit card debt, right? Yep. You don't have to carry credit card debt at any stage of, of the game, so long as you understand what your position is and you live within your means. These are the kind of people want time freedom. They want the, the luxury, if you'll call it that, of not having to be concerned about money. Okay, me, okay. Oh, Brian, yo, dude. <laughs> He's in the car. <laughs> what have you been drinking, Brian? <laughs> He's in the mouse <laughs> mobile. <laughs> hey, guy like me. You know, most people think I'm successful. Guess what I'm not doing? I'm not buying a Ferrari. I'd love a Lamborghini, okay? The, that V10, the, the poor man's Lamborghini, they're only, they're, they're only about a quarter of a million dollars. I'm not buying one. Why? Because I couldn't live within my means. All right? But what we, we have what people want. The, the, the security of knowing that if there's a hiccup, can't work this week, can't work this month, can't work this year, that their life isn't devastated. Okay, they want what we have. They want the ability to work with people that they desire to work with. You know, to be able to choose when they go on vacation, not when human resources or the boss allocates you time. Okay, now, if you already know that they want what we've got, then all you're really looking for is a person that's willing to do what needs to be done to share the product, share the opportunity, teach others to do the same. When you find that person, and this is really key, we lose most of those people because we're not the person they desire to follow. And it has absolutely nothing to do with the level of success you've attained, has nothing to do with your rank, 
okay, has everything to do with the, the, the perception you uh, present to your prospects. And, and I say this more um, for the gals. I'm not being sexist here. I think you guys know I'm about the most woke and, and non-sexist, non-biased guy around, right? Outside of the fact that I live in California, that helps. No, it doesn't. Um, but ladies, okay, this is not something that has in, in, in our generations, okay, Robin, you're a little bit closer to my age, Kate, you're, you know, both of you guys are younger than I am, but you're still raised in, in you know, quasi, you know, our generations. Mm -hmm. And that has never been something that the, the average gal was encouraged to do. Fellas, it's a little bit easier because it was kind of presumed. And, you know, and every young fellow has understood the concept of posture walking into a bar you're not familiar with, right? Okay, got to have the right posture if you don't want to get into trouble. And so that's, you know, I got, I got a buddy, Jersey, okay? Short, 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 little skinny guy. He's got massive posture, okay? I'd stand behind him any place I go because he'll clear a path. But it's all the posture, the presence, Okay, and so again, I'm not saying lie about your income, but be that person that knows everything. Because if you believe you do, if you go through the numbers, you're going to find the Kate Ridgely. You're going to find, you know, the 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 Ernest uh, Faulkner. You're going to find the Fred Holmes. You're going to find the Robin Arnold. That not only do they want what we have but they're willing to do the deal. They just need somebody to follow. And you want to be that person. When I talk to you, is there any question in your mind that I am 100% convinced this is the greatest thing to slice bread? This is an opportunity that can change your life. It can change your life. Okay, somebody's got to mute it's, themselves. It's uh, Brian. Mute it's Brian. Yourself, Brian. Brian, mute yourself, buddy, because we're getting some feedback. Mm. Unless you want to talk, then you can then you can unmute. Uh, you, you see where I'm going with this, Robin? There's no doubt in your mind, is there? Right. No. Okay. Now, the perception is well, it's easy to say now, but I was saying that 35 years ago. Okay, because the brand new prospect, the one that was coming to the meeting for the very first time didn't even know how to spell herbal life, had no idea what it was. If they were the one, like me, who looked at the video or saw the presentation and heard the testimonials and said, not every single one of those people can be lying. And if they can do it, why can't I? The only thing that keeps me from being one of them is time and knowledge. I'm willing to give it the time. Are you the person that can give me the knowledge? Okay, and they will follow you. That that whole concept of posture that that's, you know, honestly, I talk I talk a lot of times about my original sponsor and all the great and wonderful things he did for me. He really didn't. Okay, most of the most of the you know anecdotes that I give are um, you know how can I put it? They are illustrations of what should have happened. There were a few good things that he did. One of the things that he did is he put me in front of the people that had the knowledge and the skills. Okay. He did show me, you know, where to sit in the audience when, when Herbalife was doing the big broadcast. He made sure that I knew to go to LA to be there when Mark and Larry were doing their presentation, where to sit in the audience so that the camera would catch me. Okay. He gave me the hints of, you know, always walk up to, the, to the, the biggest paycheck in the room and shake their hand and introduce yourself. Okay. That's why wherever I was, I could always take my prospect and walk up to the person that was the, you know, the big shot in the meeting and go, uh, hi, Jim, Fred Holmes. You remember me? Jeff, is, Jeff Schlegel is my sponsor. Want to introduce you? And, and they'll do their deal. They go, oh, yeah, Fred, good to see you again. You're doing great, man. And I introduced my prospect and right away the prospect goes, oh, well, you know, Fred, Fred's, you know, hobnob with the big shots and that sort of thing, you know, and, and see, all you guys have that too. You can put Pat Anderson on a Zoom video call. You can put me on that call. Okay. You can, you know, there's a lot of the team members out there. 
that if you reached out to them, they would do that three-way Zoom meeting with you. So you got everything else you need. Now, what do you need to be doing? You need to go through the numbers because think of, you know, who are you looking for, all right? You're not looking for the, for the 90 percenters, okay? I'm struggling right now. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm having this, this challenge of uh, finding help here in the home. Um, Cynthia? Stephanie. Stephanie. I, that was close enough for me. I mean, I'm impressed with me right now. Uh, <laughs> she's going to uh, spend a day, uh, work a day on, I think, Wednesday. Oh, okay. good. I was in the car and I didn't put up my camera. Uh, but, uh, you know, nobody wants to work. Okay. We're not looking for the 80 percenters, the 90 percenters, that their greatest goal in life is to get a government job. We're looking for the 10 percenters. So what's that mean? Nine out of 10 of the people that you're going to talk to are probably not who you're looking for. But more importantly, because it's only one out of 10, you got to be that person. Can't let them slip through your fingers. This was not what I planned to talk about. I didn't have any plan to talk about, just to check in with you guys, see what's happening, see what I can offer some help with. Uh, is, is this helping at all? It is. Absolutely, yes. Okay. And, and it's, you know, it's always the little things. Okay. And, and, and it's, this deal is too easy and it's too hard. Okay. It's too easy because it's very predictable. If you go through enough numbers, you're going to find the people you're looking for. Okay. How many good people do you need? Now somebody's going to go, Oh, uh, isogenic, uh, you know, comp plan need uh, 10. No, you don't need 10. You need two. Yeah. That's it. One on each side. You know, you're going to have to have the eight others that are willing to do a little, make that grand a month. Okay. You want that executive, uh, you know, those, those eight consultants, other, uh, the additional eight consultants. You only need two. This thing's too easy. If you go through enough numbers, you'll find them. Okay. What's even more exciting is it's easier than that. Anybody in the, in the, of those, you know, 10 consultants that you need. If somebody they know or somebody they know becomes one of those two that you need, that counts, right? What difference is, you know, you don't get the check match on them, but that's okay. You know, if, if, you, if you max out at 750 grand a year, call me up and tell me you're disappointed, you know, so I can laugh at you, okay? This is too easy and it's too hard because there's a handful of little tiny things that if we keep working on those, that will make all the difference. The easy part is going through the numbers. The hard part is become, you know, Jim Rohn, you know, making a million dollars is not a big deal. Becoming the person that's worth a million dollars, that should be your goal. And long before I made my first million dollars, I was worth the million dollars. At that point in time, I simply had to keep going through the numbers so that the results would catch up with my level of personal development. Things that will help you feel better about being that guy, that you know that you know that you know that you can help this person. Um, Don Fela's book, The 45 Second Presentation. Napkin, yeah. Yeah, the, 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 yeah the, the, the napkin presentations, 10 napkin presentations. That's, a, you know, and that's something I need to go. And it's been a long time. I, you know, tip, for years, I would review that once a year, at least once a year. Okay. And, and, uh, and uh, uh, Jim Rohn's How to Build Your Network Marketing Distributorship, that, you know, one hour CD. I'd review that typically once a month. And I'm way off track with that. Um, but that, that those 10 paper napkin presentations, every single million dollar earner in network marketing has multiple copies of that book, okay? They know that book by heart. When I first was exposed, see, I thought the 10 paper, uh, I mean, I learned about that in my very first multi-level. I thought that was MLM, um, you know, uh, spoken history you know, predates the written word. I thought this was just something everybody knew. 
and it was years later before I realized there's a guy named Don Fela. He actually was the guy that wrote the book. And there's, you know, there might be, you know, one or two little nuanced things that I may not necessarily agree 100% with what he talks about, but it's virtually spot on. And if you were to, you know, incorporate that, to, you know, to, to metabolize that knowledge in that one little book, it's a, it's a simple read and just, you know, you can't get it. it, it there's so much stuff there. You can't get it with a casual reading. There you, that's it right there. The, uh, the 45 second it. presentation, the, uh, the audio cassette. Yeah. You got that. Uh, they had a bundle, um, uh, the old, uh, uh, tools provider for ZJ had a bundle. They actually, Sound Concepts, they actually bought the rights from Dom Phelo to market his stuff and they put together a 30th anniversary thing, I think it was. And that's what you got there, Roger, right? You came with the book and the CD and, and um, you know, me personally, yep. Me personally, I like the book because I like the, the concept of being able to, to vote, you know, 30 minutes a day, read one chapter, take some notes, you know, the spaced repetition of hearing it while you're walking around is great after you've actually studied it. So I'd encourage you to, to take that in. It'll make you feel so much more confident. And Robin, you're going through the numbers. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're going through the numbers. You're doing that part. Yes. I'm, I'm gonna suggest to you that the, in addition to going through the numbers, you need to step up your game in being the person they want. Big difference between asking somebody to join your company and offering somebody an opportunity to be part of your team. Uh, I encourage everybody, if you're doing phone work and, and you, you, know, you can get away with this, you can't get away with when you're talking to people face to face. But if you're doing phone work, get out your recorder, okay? And record yourself. So you can hear what they hear. You're never gonna be able to hear what they hear. I mean, back in the old days, we had those little handheld, uh, you know, mini cassette recorders, you know, and, and actually the little, uh, you know, audio cassette tape deck recorders. Um, you know, I got a bunch of those tapes. I don't have anything to play them on anymore, right? But uh, your cell phone, okay? You can record yourself on your cell phone, okay? If, if you're using your cell phone to talk, take Bob's cell phone and record it on his, right? Mm -hmm. And you can't hear what they're saying, but you can hear what you're saying. And you're going to hear the words and you're going to be able to feel how you're presenting yourself. When I learned that trick, it changed everything in my phone presentation hmm. to this day. I mean, it's, you know, this last few weeks have been crazy. Okay. Just because I got no support here. Right. Uh, but uh, um, in the past, Every week, I would listen to the recording of our Monday session just to hear what I said. Mm -hmm. okay, anytime I get a chance to review something that I've done, a broadcast, I listen to it. Because, you know, outside of the fact nobody enjoys listening to me talk more than I do. Uh, besides that, I can improve my delivery until I know what I've been delivering, okay? Do me a favor, Robin. Between now and next Monday, take the opportunity to record a few sessions of you talking to people, and then come back next Monday, give us some feedback on how, on, on how that exercise affected you. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, I gotta roll. My sister's been kind enough to stay here through six o'clock. Uh, she's the reason I can get out to the gym right now because she hangs out with mom. And hopefully I'll be getting some help in here shortly. Uh, folks, have a great rest of your week. Hey, thanks, you too, Brad. Brad. You did thanks. Thanks. That was great. Thank, Thank you, you guys. so much. All right. Take care now. All right. Good night, everyone. Oh, by the way, I'm focus leader tomorrow. Y'all show up on time. <laughs> it's 7.30 in the morning. Yeah. It's Tuesday. 10 in the morning. No problem. All right. See you guys. All, All right. right. Good night. Later.